wow we have not seen proper rain in scotland for about two months now it is bucketing down outside we've had thunder and lightning storms for the past two nights i have no internet access right now um, because of that it's quite refreshing in some ways i hope it's going to get rid of that humidity but tomorrow i'm meant to be going exploring with my dad up in the countryside within murrayshire we're hopefully going to go to this castle near dufton and also the Craigellachie bridge and a couple of other well-known monuments around the area so i do hope that this weather is going to get better but even if it is raining hopefully the thunder and lightning will stay off for tomorrow and we'll get some exploring done i'll see you tomorrow Well, the stereotypical Scottish summer has returned. It was basking sunshine when we were driving up here and the weather has descended, hence sunglasses. The weather has descended. We've now got quite a lot of rain, wind, and yeah, it's just not very nice at all. We're gonna go and explore this castle though, take you all with us, and hopefully the weather is not gonna to get too bad. a ruined castle near the town of Dufton in Murray. It is a ruin so it's not as interesting as a lot of the really cool castles that I want to investigate and explore in Aberdeenshire but it's a stunning location. I'm looking around me right now I'm seeing great potential for some future photography trips but today I'm just here to explore, look around this area, try to avoid all the wind and rain that's coming our way and just enjoy this beautiful landscape around here. It's such a beautiful location and there's nobody else here but us. I just love ruined castles. I often think they're more interesting than castles that have still been maintained because it leaves so much to the imag imagination. There's so much more left of this castle than I expected and there's quite a lot of bits to explore. And it's just a great way to spend a Sunday afternoon. There's a big rain shower coming just now, so I think I'm going to sit it out in here and wait for it to pass, otherwise I'm going to get soaked. Oh, it's quite nice to find a ruined place that you can come inside though and it's not just a shell. There's so much to this place really, got an interesting history, just like hundreds of other castles within Scotland. The castle trail and all the different castles in this country are never ending. There's so many to discover, so much history around here and it's just fascinating to get out there and discover it all.
just think it's crazy to think that people actually lived in these places. It must have been freezing. I mean, I know they had open fires and everything in the olden days in these castles, but just imagining how wild and rugged and remote this place is and how exposed it is to the elements. It must have been really challenging living here in the olden days. I also wonder how they built castles because nowadays we've got machinery to help us build buildings and they never seem to last. But these castles are hundreds and hundreds of years old and they're still pretty much standing. It's just amazing to think that humans managed to build things like this with their own hands and that through doing that it withstands the, the test of time when modern buildings don't. It's just so fascinating to get out and, and experience places like this and just enjoy them because they're part of our history and they are fascinating. And they're so beautiful as well to view the architecture and all the work and effort that must have gone into building a place like this. Wow, the view up here is pretty incredible. Just look at all this mountains and farmland in the distance. There's a definite kind of storminess coming now. So I think we're gonna head to the next location before we get soaked too much. kind of visualisation of what the castle would have looked like from here. It's so beautiful and look at all this. It's getting so windy now. We're going to have a picnic at that castle but obviously the weather's just not great so we're going to have it in the car before we head to Kregelhi Bridge which is a very famous monument in this area. <laughs> Kregelhi Bridge here in Kregelhi. This bridge was built by the famous Thomas Telford in 1814. He was responsible for several bridges, harbours and other architectural famous places around Scotland. And this bridge here is so beautiful. The architecture and everything involved in it is just stunning. We're going to walk over the top of it, do a bit of exploring and then go down underneath where you can see the true beauty of this bridge. the designing and everything that must have gone into them it's just they're so intricate and they've totally stood the test of time 
I just think they're stunning. I know I think a lot of things are stunning, but these are beautiful. I just love that about old buildings and old things. I feel like there was so much more design and so much more kind of went into them. You just don't get things like this nowadays in modern buildings and modern bridges. beautiful from the architecture point of view but it's also thought to be the oldest standing cast iron bridge in Scotland. So just a little bit of a personal story here. One of my grannies used to live in this kind of area when she was a child and this bridge was only shut in 1972 I think to the traffic. We've now got this newer bridge over here that all the cars go across but when my granny was younger she used to have to go over this bridge to go to I can't remember if it was school or whether it was work, but I remember her telling me that the bend at the bottom, where we kind of filmed a wee bit earlier, quite often she'd have to go over that in a big bus and it would often, the bus would often get stuck in that corner because it's so sharp. So not only is this a beautiful bridge and a beautiful location with a lot of history attached to it, it also has a personal connection to me and my family, which I think makes it even more special and even more worth enjoying, for me anyway. Side note, look at this tree. It's so, there's just so much going on on it. The bark is beautiful, we've got ivy growing up, all of these bits here. Look at this. This is just, it's almost like a fairy tale world and this is right beside the river, right beside that bridge. I just think it's beautiful. It's not often that you see ivy and, and trees in this, this kind of condition. It's just so magical. And this is something that I always say, when you come out exploring, you never know what you're going to discover. And as always, I'm trying to connect to nature and the natural world and, and show off its true beauty, which is exactly what this place is. Underneath and in amongst all the kind of roads and all the, the busyness and, and industrial side of things, there's always something, something natural to enjoy. And that's one of the joys in Scotland. The beauty is endless and you never know what you're going to come across. So that's the end of another vlog. I hope you've enjoyed coming to explore these historic locations with me today. I've really enjoyed coming back to these places. I've been here several times, I've never been to that castle though. But it's just so good to get out and explore these places reasonably close to where you come from and just get out and embrace it. As always, I just want to say thank you all again for watching and I will hopefully see you all again next time.